This is Ryan McDonald with MMA Valor. I am here in the calm before the storm. Uh, Bellator going down tonight in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. I'm here with uh, one half of the main event of the undercard, Keith Bad News Bell. First of all, Keith, I know this is fight day. Right. Uh, you're really trying to focus, get ready for this fight against Blagoy Ivanov. We appreciate the time and uh, just kind of wanted to bring you into the MMA Valor family here, introduce you to our fans. All right. um, kind of give our, our, our fans a little bit of a background on, on Keith Bad News Bell. Uh, well, I grew up uh, grew up in Newport News, Virginia. Uh, went to Denby High, and there played football and wrestled. Um, always wanted to be a, a basketball player, but you know, wrestling uh, took precedence over that because I couldn't jump with the other guys. And uh, ended up doing real well with it my my, my first year, and um, was an All American my senior year, and I uh, went on to college um, where I wrestled with uh, Rashad Evans and. Um, you know, obviously he he did his thing, and I I felt as though I could I felt as though I could do it as well. He flew me down to Greg's, and the rest is history. Here we are. Let's just say you're you're 34 years old. You're this is your first uh, first fight at Bellator. This is this is big for you. I think you could easily say this is the biggest fight in your career. Absolutely. And uh, you you've put in the time uh, year after year. I know you've trained in some in some pretty famous gyms. Obviously, you mentioned Jackson's, but you've you've kind of put in some time elsewhere. Right. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, uh, let me see, when I started fighting in, in Raleigh as an amateur, uh, one of the guys that, that sponsors, one of the, uh, what was that, sponsors AKA in San Jose, uh, he flew me out there, and I was out there for a week with um, the who's who out there with the first lightweights, and obviously Kane, uh, the champ, um, and then I've trained, uh, obviously Greg's, and then and the AKA, and then I've flown down to, uh, down to the Black Zillions down in, down in South Beach. And it was, you know, it, it let me know exactly where I needed to be, you know, and let me know where I stood. And, um, and this is where, um, you know, today, tonight, um, you show the, you know, show at least 10 million people that are going to be watching where I, where I need to be. Well, let's talk about your new gym. You, you recently did a, a gym change. Mm -hmm. uh, you're at New World uh, MMA. Is that the? Uh, new World Academy. New World Academy. Yeah. My apologies. Uh, so talk a little bit about your new gym and, and how that's really gotten you ready for this this. Uh, biggest fight of your life? Yeah, every gym, every gym, any gym that you would go to, you you kind of have to you, you have to you know um, expand on your strengths and uh, and work on your weaknesses. Obviously, uh, my weaknesses probably would be uh, I don't know. I guess you can call it uh, the, the comfort in in the grappling and and we have like so we have Mike there who's actually he's got me extremely comfortable um, in any situation on the ground. Um, and um, and Rod has really brought out more power in my striking and more control. You know, I'm not out there just winging it uh, like a lot of heavyweights do, even on the upper levels. You know, I, uh, you know, so hopefully I, I, I put that on display tonight. One thing I, I think if uh, the fans, if they've seen you fight before, they they really understand how fast and agile you are for a heavy heavyweight. Is is that going to be the key coming in tonight to try to just just stay as fast as you can? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, and with that, uh, my strength and conditioning has been has been through the roof. I'm actually like 17 pounds lighter than I was the last fight, and uh, and I just feel. I mean, that, that, that's going to be the that, that's what you always want to do anyway. You always want to drag your opponent down into, into deep water and then leave them there once you're done. And, you know, I'm going to try to implement that tonight. Now, have you seen much video on Ivanov? We know he's a tough guy mm -hmm. from Bulgaria. What's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, what, what kind of um, things have you seen that you think you can exploit uh, without giving away the game plan? Well, right, yeah. He, uh, <laughs> he's, he, you know, he's, uh, he's obviously a, a, a very game opponent. You know, everybody talks about how he beat Fedor back in 08 um, in, in a completely different sport that, you know, has no basis in, in MMA outside of, uh, <clears throat> outside of, like, the... The, I guess the takedown submission aspect. Um, he's he's, he's kind of reckless. He's kind of reckless with his strikes, um, and they look to expose that like early. You know, um, I'm hoping he doesn't have any translators with him <laughs> once you do put this film up. But um, <clears throat> you know, just 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 keep him away, keep him away, keep him away, and um, see where he is. See where we'll see what he focused on in his training. So not only is tonight your Bellator debut, which is huge, but you are the main event of the preliminary card. Mm -hmm. H has that sunk in yet? I mean, how does that feel right now? Uh, well, uh, the last, was it my last five, six fights, I've either been the co-main or the main event. 
And so it's just, it puts, it's put me in a comfort zone because I, at first they had the card set up where I was the third fight overall. You know, I've never had to go in and take my hands immediately, you know, and then, and then get pushed out there. You know, so it's, I'm comfortable here, you know, and like I said, with my, uh, with my training, I'm comfortable with my training. I'm comfortable with how things have gone. So I'm not, I'm not worried about anything. You know, the, the only thing I have left to do is get my hand raised. Uh, tell our tell our fans where they can find you in cyberspace, Twitter, Facebook, any any of that. Right, uh, you can go to Keith uh, Keith Bad News Bell on Instagram, and then uh, Bad News MMA on Twitter, and obviously you can look for Keith Bell on uh, on Facebook. I like there, apparently there's like a billion of them, but just look for the guy who has the, the gloves on. There you go. <laughs> All right, fans, well, you can see Keith Bell in his Bellator debut tonight. Uh, the undercard is broadcast live on bellator.com starting at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, Keith, again, thank you for the time. Thank you. For Keith Bell, I'm Ryan McDonald reporting for MMAValor.com.